Yeah, a little video on uh, my solar system in the garage. I use for charging power tools and whatnot. These four batteries, I did have them in the cabin, but they were in there over the winter, so they froze and thawed a bunch of times. Not sure if they're still good, but I'm going to try and charge them up again. But the problem I had right off the get-go was uh, this charge controller was too small once I hooked three panels together. Can't handle the voltage. But I ordered this in. Blue Star Charge Controller. Or Blue Solar Charge Controller. 100 volts and 30 amp. Because on my panel stats here, we only got, uh, we got 19.5 volts. So times, it say 20 by 3, that's only 60. So it should handle it easy. And amps, so we're uh, 5. So uh, 20, about 15, 15 or 20 amps, not even 20. So it should work. I'll get it switched out and see if we can get charging here. Okay, just to test that things out here, I think I'll just leave that in place and just switch the wires around. Got a five-year warranty. As long as you don't hook it up wrong, of course. Part number, serial number. So it's a serious unit. Yeah, it's very serious compared to this old, not so much old, but uh, cheap charge controller. I'm just going to pause the video and read through the instructions a bit. Uh, make sure I hook it up pro properly. Okay, it's very user-friendly to hook up. Very user-friendly. But... Um, so basically you just got your solar panel in, positive, negative, and then out to your battery, positive, negative. Just got these screws to uh, loosen them off, put wires in, tighten her up. Blue light right now indicating it's charging. It's got a lot of smart safety uh, controls in place in case you hook the wires backwards or something. Uh, so you don't uh, wreck it. There's also a ground, you hook on a ground over on this side here which I'll do eventually. Only problem it has is uh, there's no display. If you get one that ha that's a little more money, I think this one was 150 bucks, but I'll leave a link in the description there. It has a, a Bluetooth that you hook to an app and you can have all the readings off your phone there. But I got the multimeter tester here. You'll see when I hook up uh, for the solar, We got 56, 55, between 55, 57. Uh, and so that's fine with the three panels because we're good up to 100. Now going into the battery, this is a battery bank. I got uh, 11.2 right now. That's telling you what the battery is at. So we come on over, we got four of them hooked up, and like I say, I'm not 100% sure if these batteries are good, I'm not sure how you, uh, maybe you have to do a load test, eh, to really test them, I'm sure one of you can tell me, but uh, bring the multimeter over, and let's see what the battery bank is reading. If I can do this one-handed. Ground. Yeah. So it's 11 also. So I'll come back in an hour and we'll see if it's improving.
few more stats on it. It's got the, like I say, up to 100 uh, V PV open circuit voltage, up to 30 amp charge current, 10 milliamp self consum consumption. So it takes very little to operate. That means you get more power into your batteries. Full rate output up to 40 degrees Celsius. Protection grade electronics, IP43. Okay, this is what I got going on on the roof of the garage here. Uh, windmill's turning. That's not hooked to that, hooked to a different battery. I've got three panels here hooked in uh, series. And then over on the cabin, well, we got like 800 watts there, and then another panel up top, I think it's 120, charging another uh, charge uh, controller, not charge controller, but power bank in my office. And these eight are charging my main power bank down below running my fridge and whatnot. You've probably seen that in previous videos. And if you hear that squawking, that's my uh, animal deterrent in the garden. Okay, it's about an hour later. It's still charging way fine. Nothing's getting warm. All good. Got it hooked to the four power bank here, four batteries. And I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I'm uh, running the deep freeze, mini little deep freeze. So working swell. Just gonna make sure the sun stays out long enough. If you think this is something that interests you, there will be a link in the description.